Hey everybody, so today I'm gonna to show you an air purifier I made that's a compact air purifier. The reason I made this is because I have a friend who works in a lab and she works in a different partition every day and she has to take her stuff with her. She can't leave anything at the partition and she never knows where she's gonna be working or even which floor. So she needed a Corsi box or an air purifier that she could take with her. And what we built was this. So you can see that it's got an air filter here. That's a, um, a 12 inch by 12 inch air filter. Um, it needs to be MERV 13 or higher. An equivalent is FPR 10. This is a Home Depot FPR 10 filter. It's essentially the same as a MERV 13, as long as you get one of those two or higher. Then on the top, we've got some, some computer fans. Um, these are Noctua brand, Noctua, uh, because they're really quiet. And here I've hooked them up to a 12 volt AC to DC uh, converter with a speed control. So I'm gonna turn it on. All right. Um, and then this is basically just an optional uh, air deflector, which if you need to deflect the air in a different direction, it just comes on with Velcro. And then, yeah, so this is at top speed. So you can see it's actually pretty quiet, but if it's still too loud, uh, you can turn it down just a little bit. And if you're curious, is it really pulling air through here? A little test you can do. And yes, it is getting suction. Uh, for even better, if you wanna make sure that no air is coming in through the sides, um, you can put uh, blue masking tape, uh, just to sort of tape it up. And then if you wanna see on the inside, what we've got here, I use coroplast, or corrugated plastic. Um, if I were to do this again, I think I'd use a thinner material. Um, if you know like the grocery store shopping bags that are fabric but they have like a hard material inside so you can fold it out, I'd probably go with something like that to make, but make sure it was airtight. And then, okay, so we're going to turn it off and to break it down, we do this. Pull these out. So it actually folds up. You can kind of see the shape. I had to make this out of paper, uh, and then I folded the paper to see how it would most easily fold, and then that's how it does it. Uh, if this were a thin mater thinner material, you could get this even smaller. And then, actually just folds up just like that goes in the bag and then this goes too which I'll explain in a second so then if you're going to build it pretty much similar process the one difference first you undo that strap here see that little parachute buckle Sometimes it's a little hard to get these sides pulled out uh, unless you have the filter out, but if you have the filter taped, you can't do that. So that's why I made these little strings. So that pulls out and then that holds that in place. You see it's just got this little smaller loop inside the string. That pulls out and then that goes just like that. And that just keeps the sides from collapsing. And then this uh, is for a door or a partition if you want to hang it. That hooks in the same strap that was used to, to keep it compact. And then you can mount it over a door or partition. And then this is adjustable. You can change the size of it. And of course, if you want to put this back on, you can. Uh, this is not really going to work for more than one person. This is a personal air filter. so. You know, this is going to be good for the partition, maybe. Of course, you still want to wear your mask. Uh, but if you just want a little bit extra assurance, um, you could build something like this. And it was pretty cheap to do. I think the most expensive part was the filter and the, the fans. Uh, but everything else is pretty much just duct tape, uh, coroplast. And yeah, there you go. Hope you enjoy it. Thanks for watching.